to be completely honest, I have been working up the courage over the last 24 hours to try to ask you this question. Okay. Because I genuinely, with all my heart, believe that you have the best dance sequences in movies. I love Mr. and Mrs. Smith is, with Brad is incredible. And there's a great dance sequence in this. And it has been on my bucket list to be able to say to my grandkids one day that I danced with Angelina Jolie. What, as a woman, what do you, when you have a man in your life, how do you, how do you explain dancing with another man? The, he's a young 22-year-old guy trying to impress his grandkids down the line. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Is there way we can get this? this you, can, awesome. you can keep it low. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This is the greatest thing. Now, are you leading or am I leading? Because I feel like I'm leading. I'll lead. <laughs> <laughs> this is going so great. This is like the greatest moment of my entire life. It's all downhill from here. Thank you so much. You have no idea. First moment I got to dance with Angelina. Did she what? Actually, Angelina actually stood up and danced with me. That, that was a bucket list. I can finally, I can die. You know a what? happy man. That's a good one. I, I, That's a good I, one. I didn't know if she was going to go for it and she was kind enough to do it and I don't know if, if I can ever be unhappy ever again. So here's the deal. The good news is that, that you won't have to dance with me now. I was actually, that was actually my next... No, because you've done it with Angelina. I mean, what, where are you going to go? Life downhill? Yeah. It's over. <sighs> All right, good to know. It's, it's over. Awesome. You have a fantastic scene with, with Angelina where you are a mystery novel fanatic and, and you tell her what your, that what your mystery story would be between the two of you. What, yeah. we're, we're two guys sitting in a hotel room in Paris. What would be our, our mystery story? Our mystery story? Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, somebody would probably come round that window with a with a ball peen hammer. Which means one of us has got to die. There's got to be a death by the end of chapter two. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I would see your eyes mm -hmm. kind of widen, mm -hmm. and, and you you might panic a bit, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't say anything. Which I I would have wished you would have said something. But the guy comes and clocks me. He clocks me, knocks me out. It's over with. I like to think that I could defend you. With, with someone offset, that a picture can be taken and, and, and things can be misconstrued. I mean, is there, is there ever, do you ever get tired of that? Uh, yes, but you expect it and you just know how to deal with it. You mostly ignore it. it hypothetically, if you and I walked out of this hotel together and we were having a conversation, would, it, would that happen? I would probably happen, yes. That makes me very excited. Well, you're alone in Paris. I so. am, which is unfortunate. <laughs> You gotta go to a very, very local Parisian cafe or something and okay. try to get to know a Parisian. Unless you want to invite me over for dinner, which I am more than free tonight. You, can you babysit? I am an awesome <laughs> babysitter. I would do great. I actually really do love getting into the conversation and told me that the next time we were gonna be together, we were gonna shoot in an exotic location. So I got the call from Sony and they said that you wanted to see me in Paris. You set this up, didn't you? I did. This is going well. It is. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> and then you have this great line in the film where you say that women don't like guys asking questions, which as a guy who makes his living asking questions, it actually kind of worries <laughs> me. So how can I impress you without asking questions? You have to just be extremely demanding and very, very masculine. Oh, I'm so screwed. You have no <laughs> idea. Awesome. But you know, I, I have to say one thing I love about your roles is that they're, they're, they're strong women. And, and, I, and I love that, that no matter what kind of role it is, they have that one characteristic which I think is incredible. Um, and, and, and I've talked to you a few times before and you're such a strong woman, which I, I love. Do you make the characters stronger or do you, do you think the characters make you stronger? I think you bring a, I, I tend to want to play people that I have some respect for and so I think you always want to, if it doesn't exist on the page, you want to add something about that character that you, that you support. Mm -hmm. And I, and I support, support people that have some kind of strength, whether it be uh, like in The Changeling, I was fortunate enough to do a role that had, she had a very strong heart, emotionally strong, but, uh, but sometimes often just cool or strong or tough or, you know, I, I, I like. And, and I don't know, I, I feel weird saying this, but I feel like this character is the one that's the most weird, if only because he's the most normal of the characters you've mm. played. What is it that, that, if that's correct, if that's a correct assumption, what is it that's that exactly is, it. It, is, is there something weird about being normal? Most definitely, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, the the thing that 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 uh, was intriguing, most intriguing for me about this this film <coughs> is the is the idea of normal. You know, what is considered normal? Who is considered normal? And uh, you take this math teacher, let's say, math professor out of Wisconsin. He leaves the country for the first time, and he goes to Venice, and he's had no great highs, he's had no great lows in his life, and then he's thrown into this absurd and violent um, uh, horror show and um, has to deal with it. So how does Mr. Normal deal with that? And yeah, you know, the idea of, of, of the, like the guy who all he thinks about is sort of 
you know, this electronic cigarette or, or his mystery novel or something. You know, it's, it's a very simplistic kind of existence, and that, that was sort of what I was looking for. You know? Absolutely, it was perfect. John, it's always a pleasure oh, talking with you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man.